<laughs> Essentially, because they thought it would make good theater and sell a lot of tickets. <laughs> and they had not the slightest fear that it would cause anti-Semitism. It was the brainchild of a wacky promoter named Sammy Morse, a Polish Jew who falsely claimed to be a biblical scholar who wandered the Holy Land for 20 years. <laughs> In reality, he wrote the script based almost entirely on the King James Version, the New Testament. He did include some California slang. But if Morse's play was mediocre, the set designer and lighting director was one of the most brilliant theatrical personalities of his time, David Belasco, a Sephardi Jew who was a playwright, director, and actor. After almost two decades in San Francisco, he moved to New York, and a theater on Broadway is named for him today. Now, for Morse's lavish passion play, 1879, Velasco assembled a cast of 400 extras, including a hundred mothers with babes in arms. When Mary and Joseph came down the mountain, Velasco had a real flock of sheep following him. A lot of the supporting cast was Jewish, because Velasco thought the Hebrew type as he put it, would be most fitting. Who went to see the play? On the first night, the leading drama critic in town estimated that the large majority of the audience was Jewish. <laughs> now, what was the controversy? Again, of a counterintuitive kind. The local evangelical ministers vociferously protested the play. They believed it was unseemly that their savior would be portrayed by a mere play actor. Devout Christians marched on City Hall, occupied the offices of the Board of Supervisors, actually obtained a warrant to close the play down. But the district attorney doubted its legality. He felt he couldn't enforce it. But amidst the hullabaloo, the Jewish background of the playwright, the promoter, the set designer, most of the cast, and the audience, all of that went unmentioned. <coughs> Meanwhile, the leading local rabbis strongly felt the show must go on. <laughs> then this show is an almost word-for-word -word enactment of the New Testament. Now, it was not just a question of free speech. The rabbi of Sherat Israel demanded to know why it should be considered irreverent to show Jesus on the stage when there was no objection to depicting Moses or Elijah. Jesus was played by the well-known actor James O'Neill, the father of the future playwright Eugene O'Neill. One of the few Jewish objections to the Passion Play was that Jesus ought to be played by a Jew and not an Irishman. <laughs> by the way, O'Neill, upon leaving the theater and still wearing sandals, a flowing white robe, and a halo was arrested by the police. He was charged with impersonating Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was held in jail overnight, but let out on bail, and he performed the next night. Now, Morse next took his play to New York, 